Can you answer that now? I don't know the answer to that question. I don't know the answer to either of those questions. I don't know how many. You've had- I don't know whether there are any. Were I have any? no personal knowledge of this matter. Uh, I, don't re- I, don't, I don't recollect the answer to that question. Hello and welcome back. So I just got done watching the oversight hearings of AG Merrick Garland. And all I can say is that I'm very worried for this country. Merrick Garland is brazenly partisan and corrupt, but he knows he has the media and will get away with it. And it gets real bad. During the heated questions from Republicans, Merrick Garland seems to suggest that his Jewish religion somehow puts him above scrutiny and shields him from criticism. We're going to analyze Garland's insane response to completely legitimate questions. But first, a quick capitalism break with Noble Gold. Do you want to take control of your financial future, but just don't know where to start? Noble Gold Investments understands. Investing in precious metals may sound confusing, but the team at Noble Gold Investments make it easy. Right now, Noble Gold Investments is offering a free five ounce silver America the Beautiful bullion coin for qualified accounts. So why wait? Let's get started right now. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com now. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. The only gold company I trust. And remember, there is always risk in investment and there are no guarantees of any kind. Justice Department was founded in the wake of the Civil War and in the midst of Reconstruction with the first principal task of bringing to justice white supremacists and others who terrorize black Americans to prevent them from exercising their civil rights. Just imagine the actions they can justify taking in the name of their safety. Government officials are accountable to the people and their elected representatives. Garland and those agents are just servants of the public and deserve every bit of criticism they're getting. That promise is also why I am here. My family fled religious persecution in Eastern Europe at the start of the 20th century. My grandmother, who was one of five children, born in what is now Belarus, made it to the United States, as did two of her siblings. The other two did not. Those two were killed in the Holocaust. Notice how he sounds like he could be any Democrat politician or a pundit on CNN or MSNBC. Notice how he couches his actions in the fight against white supremacy. He's doing this to justify himself to the woke. He wants half the country and maybe a little bit more to think that what he's done is okay because he's doing it to white supremacists. When you see your political opponents as literal Nazis, then you can justify doing anything to destroy them. And that is what leads to what you're about to see. Never in my life would I would thought that I would see such a politicized DOJ. Never in my life would I have thought I would see such a Department of Justice that didn't obey their own rules. Never in my life did I think I would see the egregious investigations conducted under your, under your watch or the blatant disregard of the First Amendment by FBI field offices under your watch. And never in my life did I think I would see our great DOJ turn into a politicized weapon to be wielded by an investigation to attack political rivals. For that, you must be held accountable. I hold you accountable for the labeling of parents as domestic terrorists standing up for their proper education of their own children. I hold you accountable for the anti-Catholic memo. Imagine sending agents undercover into Roman Catholic churches because they were supposedly domestic terrorists. The actions of the DOJ are on you. The decline of Americans' trust in our federal law enforcement is on you. The the political weaponization of the DOJ is on you. Attorney General, I need a simple yes or no to the following. Just yes or no, because we don't have much time. Do you agree that traditional Catholics are violent extremists? Yes or no? Let me answer what you've said in that long list of... of, I'm at, of it's, I'll I be happy the, to answer all of those. Attorney but General, just, I control the time. I'm going to ask you to answer the you, questions you, I asked. You ask. control time by asking me a substantial number of things. And I, let I, me I didn't ask you those things. I, I made a statement. The, Attorney will, General, through the chair, I ask you, do you agree that traditional Catholics are violent extremists? Look, I have no idea what your what the traditional uh, means here. The idea. Let me just that go to church. May I answer your question? Yes, the idea that someone with my family background would discriminate against any religion is so outrageous, so absurd. Mister, it's come on. Say what? That was some straight up theatrical bullshit. 
Can you imagine for one minute some random white Republican defending himself against charges of racism by pointing to his cultural heritage? Oh no, sorry, I'm of Scottish heritage and my people were oppressed, so I couldn't possibly be guilty of racism, bigotry, or xenophobia. He's above scrutiny for a policy that happened under his leadership that targeted Catholics because he's Jewish? Get the f out. What does that even mean? Is he saying that a German person in his same position could legitimately be accused of these things, but somehow he's above it because he's Jewish? That's racist. That he would try and slither away from accountability for his partisan targeting of Democrats' opponents by using his religion as a shield tells you all you need to know. It's all bull of course, and Garland actually gives it away. The yes, idea no. that someone with my family background would discriminate against any religion is so outrageous, Mr. so absurd. Mr. Attorney General, it was your FBI question. that did this. It was your FBI that was sending, and we have the memos, we have the emails, we're sending undercover agents into Catholic churches. Both I and the director this of the is, FBI the, have said the that we were of the appalled. FBI have said that we were appalled by that memo. I don't believe you. So then you agree the that they're not extremists? We were appalled by that memo. Are they extremists or not, Attorney General? I think that... Are they extremists or not, Attorney everything General? Everything in that memo is are appalling. Are they extremists or not? I'm asking a simple question. Say no if you think that was wrong. Catholics are not extremists. No. <laughs> Man. Was anyone fired for drafting and circulating the anti-Catholic memo? You have in front of you the inspection uh, division's investigation. Just tell me yes or no, please. I don't know. We have the no answer. time. I don't know the answer to that. But you see now, no fucked up, you know that, don't you? This right here is how you know Garland is full of it. First, he says that he couldn't ever possibly be accused of discrimination, and the very thought is outrageous to conceive. But then when asked if the person who made this anti-Catholic document had been punished, suddenly he has no idea or interest. I see nothing! I know nothing! Does anyone think for a moment that if somebody within the FBI or DOJ put out a similar document about Jewish or Muslim people, not only would Merrick Garland know about it, but everybody on the planet would know about it and that person would be publicly punished. Merrick Garland is a straight up scumbag and there are lots of other gems that happen throughout this hearing which will go over during a live stream on Rumble tomorrow night. Let me know in the comments what you all think about these hearings and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.